kamusta kayong lahat? I hope you are safe and healthy. It's me, Joan, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, guys, I will going to show you how our old house in the Philippines is looking. But before that, guys, I would like to take this opportunity to say thank you for those who subscribe already to my channel. If you are watching right now and you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Click the subscribe button and click the notification bell para manotify ka whenever I upload new videos. Since this is my first time showing up myself in my video I would like to take this opportunity as well to introduce myself I am Joan Ruto I am living here in US with my husband Eli and my son Nathan my husband came here at the end of 2015 and I came here at the start of 2019 dito na po pinanganak yung aming anak na si Nathan that's all about us guys because I will be talking more about our life in my next videos but for now I would like to show you how our old house in the Philippines is looking. It has been more than a month since I posted this in my timeline in Facebook and after that guys I received some texts or messages saying that bakit mo pinagiba yung bahay, malaki pa naman yung bahay, sayang naman, bakit hindi ka nalang nagpatayo ng bahay sa ibang lupa, something like that. I will gonna address those statements and questions in my video. But my main purpose guys is for my viewers to have something in their mind to imagine or visualize whenever I talk about this old house. Because in the next week, I will be uploading videos of the progress of the house that I am building for my dad in the Philippines. Bago tayo magsimula guys, magkikwento po muna ako about our old house and about our family. Our old house was built in the year 1990 pero tinirhan na lang po siya in the year 1991. Basically guys, kaedad po namin ng ate ko yung old house namin. Nung namatay po si mama noong 2008, I think if I'm not mistaken, 2 years after that, nag-asawa po ulit si papa. Sa pangalawang pamilya po ni papa, I have one stepbrother and I have one stepsister. They were the one living in that old house before I asked my dad to demolish it. That's all for the kwento guys. Let's get into it. Ito po yung front view ng aming bahay. Yung nasa kanang bahagi po ng aming bahay, that's our house in 1990. So, wala pa po yung nasa kaliwang bahagi po ng aming bahay. Noong 1998 po, dinugtungan yung bahay namin na ginawang kusina. And then yung old po namin na kitchen ay ginawa po nilang kwarto which I will show you later on. Tabi po ng kalsada yung bahay po namin. Ayan po. Sa left side po ng bahay ay may maliit na eskinita going to the back. Yan guys, yung backyard po namin. Yung may bubong po na yan, dyan kami nagluluto noon. Basically guys, yan po ay dryer na pinagpapatuyuan po ng kung ano-ano, like palay, ganyan. Yan po sa may likod. May poso po dyan kung saan. Dyan po kami naguhugas ng pinggan at naglalaba. This is the back side of the house and may maliit na daanan doon that we were using to go to the right side of the house. Yung blue car na yan ay sasakyan ni Papa na hindi na gumagana. He is planning to fix that but not now. 
Ito naman guys, yung kanang bahagi ng aming bahay. Kapag lumabas ka sa daan ng pinakita ko kanina sa likod, yan po yung makikita ninyo. So as you can see guys, wala pong pintura yung wall ng bahay namin. Ang may paint lang po yung window grills. Ito naman po yung aming terrace. Ayan yung entrance guys. And that door over there is heading to our living room. Ito po yung sala po namin. Wala po kaming couches, wala din po kaming sala set. Dati po meron pero nabenta po nung nagkasakit po si mama. Walang kisame yung bahay namin, kung mapapansin nyo po. So, may mga part po dyan dahil sa kalumaan na nakapag po umuulan ay tumutulo. Sa likod ng dalawang curtains na yan ay bedroom. And yung nagahati po sa living room po namin and bedrooms ay plywood lang po. May vinyl tiles po yung aming sala na nabakbak na po yung iba. That entrance naman po is heading to our old kitchen. Tulad ng sabi ko po kanina, yung kanang bahagi po ng aming bahay ay yung unang bahay po namin. So may kusina po siya. Ayan. Kaya kung mapapansin yung may tiles po na hindi na po naalis. Diyan naman po sa binuhitan ko ng pula, naglagay po sila mama and papa dyan noon ng division. So yan po yung nagsilbing bedroom po po noon. Imagine guys, dyan ako natutulog sa part na yan nung bata ako. Yan naman po yung kwarto po nila mama and papa. Kung mapapansin po ninyo ay saktong-sakto lang po yung bed sa lapad po ng kwarto. Yung part na yan guys, yan naman yung kwarto ng aking elder sister. Ito yung open loop ng dalawang kwarto nung naalis na yung plywood division between living room and bedrooms. Ito naman guys, yung kitchen na sinasabi ko kanina na dinugtong lang. Yung part na yan guys na pinoint ko, tumutulo po dyan kapag umuulan. Kasi po nung lumindol po nung 1990, ayun po, nagkakarak po sa bandang yan. Kaya every time na umuulan, tumutulo tapos sinasalok na lang po namin yung ulan ng timba. Sa may part na may batya guys, may poso dyan noon, dyan kami naguhugas ng ate ko. And then, sa likod naman ng wall na yan, andyan po yung banyo namin, saka yung CR po namin. Tapos, sa paglabas po niyan, dati po, bodega po namin yan, dyan po nilalagay yung mga naani po namin noon. Pero noong, meron na po ako mga stepsister and stepbrother, ginawa po nilang another bedroom.
guys, so that's all for today's video. So guys, kung makikita nyo naman, it's really an old house. Ano po yung pinanguhugutan ko? Bakit I would like to um, build a good house for my dad or to give him a good life? Bata po kasi kami, nagkasakit po yung mama ko ng kidney failure. Halos lahat po ng meron po kami noon ay nagastos po sa mother ko. Okay, so basically guys, my dad work hard for me and my sister. Ginapang po kami sa hirap ng papa ko para po makapagtapos ng pag-aaral. My sister graduated Bachelor of Nursing and I graduated Bachelor of Secondary Education. Kung wala po yung papa ko na nagpaaral po sa amin, wala po kami. Hindi po kami makakagraduate ng, ng ate ko. Sorry guys, I'm emotional right now. Okay, so yung papa ko po, yung papa ko po guys, ginawa po niya lahat para makapagtapos po kami ng pag-aaral. Um, talagang nag-work po siya ng nag-work. Oh, my dad is a farmer, so I salute po lahat ng mga farmers dyan or kahit ano pong trabaho that you are doing for your family okay and guys wala po kami sa kinalalagyan namin ngayon kung wala po yung pop ko na naghirap po para sa aming magkapatid what I'm saying here guys is that um, if you have the opportunity or ability to give back to your parents, okay, it could be by giving or your service, gawin mo na ngayon. Kasi kung hindi ngayon guys, kailan pa? Kasi yung buhay natin guys ay napakaikli lang, okay? Hindi mo alam mamaya wala na tayo. Siguro sasabihin ng iba, you are capable kasi nasa US ka naman, you are working. But guys, there's a lot of ways to show to them that you love them it could be your service pagluto mo sila pagtimpla mo sila ng kape paglaba mo sila something like that okay so that's all for today's videos guys i hope you like it and always remember guys that you are highly favored deeply loved and greatly blessed keep smiling and be healthy bye